Sack, no. With you, Maria, now and forever. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Sabsen, don't! I can't control you, Father! Are you doing this? Please, don't make him shoot! Down goes the Octan. Sorry, not gonna do it. Maria, I will always be with you, now and forever. We get 30,000 experience for that fight. 10,000 G and a wizardry ring. Father. So, yeah. 13 year old had to kill her dad. Kind of. Thank you, everyone. The generator is repaired and the gate is developing as usual. And Maria, you did very well. I was very regretful about Dr. Nikolai. Sir, uh, Solaris put the doctor through all that. We must defeat them as soon as possible and restore freedom. Yes. Queen Zephyr. We will also fight to bring down Solaris. To begin with, where is Solaris? How do you get there? Solaris is hidden from human eyes by three gates. One of the gates is under the Ethos headquarters, but it is unreachable even with gears. I don't know where the other two are yet. Until we destroy the three gates, the path to Solaris will not open. In addition, we've received some disturbing news. Ave has invaded Nissan. What the? Shikan? Shikan! Their target is probably somewhere in the Earth. The secret royal treasure of Ave. An Omni Gear sealed up by Roni Fanaba. Damn. This is no place to hesitate. I'm going to Nissan. We can't let Shikan have his way. I see. I can't leave Nissan to its fate. Okay, first let's head to Nissan. The ship has been equipped with an aerial module. Originally it was the ship used by Bart's ancestor Roni. Make free use of it. Can you take me along with you? I have run one request. Faye, take Maria along with you. This child, since her youth, has been destined with no choice but to fight. Until she settles her own fights, she will not be able to move on with her life. Go, Maria, and find your purpose in life on your own. I got it. Let's go together, Maria. We're friends from now on. You and you and Saibzen too. Yes. Became friends with Maria. Awesome. One of the sages, Gaspar, has returned. Gaspar is the one who taught martial arts to Khan and Wiseman. I'm sure he will be able to teach you the new techniques that will be of help to you on your journey. They sure will. I've already told Gaspar, before you leave, you should learn from him. I got it. Okay, let's go, everyone. Welcome back, Gaspar. What about Balthazar and Melchior? No, I haven't seen them ever since. Besides, Your Majesty, I came here to watch over them so that they do not make the same foolish mistakes again. Your Majesty, the Omni Gear Underground is moving! A girl named Ellie was nearby and it reacted to her. Just as I thought. It's a matter of course. But the girl doesn't intend to write it just like her. She knows it unconsciously, the existence within her. She was the same as Sophia. Hmm. Sorry. No, I don't mind. I'm not him. Well then, I'll go take a look at their limiters. Fan the guys and girls had Gaspar remove a part of their limiter inserted in their genes. Yes, yes, and then... Choo Choo and her friends got together and rejoiced over their safety. Yay! It was natural for them to have a party and their sweet, dangerous night went on and on just like a never-ending dream. 
No, let's not. It's a whole other story. Please don't go in detail. Thank you, game. Thank you for sparing me that one. Faye, where are you going to without me? Choo Choo will go anywhere, even to the end of the world with you. Choo Choo's maidenly pure heart is only for you! Mm hmm. Choo Choo scares me. So, what did they mean that they removed a limiter from us? Ah. That is not the button I wanted to press. That is the button I wanted to press. Well, if we look at the skills, you can see that all of our death blows have been unlocked. Why is that? That's because we actually have action points of seven per turn now, and all of those use seven per turn. So, look at that. Fuke, Chike, Kake, Tsuike, Koke, and Yamike. Of course, since Maria doesn't have any, right, so we have to skip right over her to Bele, who uh, is already well on his way to learning True Dream, Holy Gate, and Dear Friend. But what is going on in Nissan? We'll have to wait to find out next time. I know this is probably going to be a short session, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have been Bala Scuba. This has been Bei Fong Long, Maria Balthazar, and Billy Lee Black. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Zeno Gears. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow. Okay, um, so I went and checked the, the time, and I did a little bit less recording than I had actually wanted. So I'm going to do another quick set here. This is actually the next day, but you guys won't know that. And uh, no introduction because I'm probably going to do this mid-video sometime. So, yeah, welcome back. Sweet. Oh, uh, we're still in Shabbat. And yes, we want to go down. We need to go to the Yggdrasil because if you remember, our sand submarine that is now a regular water submarine can also fly now. So, that's awesome. Now, I believe if we head down to... Oh, what is her name? Marguerite. Maggie. I forgot what they call it. Margie. Sorry, not Maggie. I've been watching The Simpsons all day. Uh, if we go talk to Margie, she can change our party, and I do want to change our party, because sorry, Maria and Billy are not going to be as useful to me right now. So, what's up, Maji? Change party members? Yes, let's change party members. And if you'll notice, Choo Choo is available. But I don't really care right now. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put Satan and Rico. Why not Rico? We'll put them in. And that's going to be my party for now. What's up, Choo Choo? Yes, ready to fight any time. I will probably need to do some leveling eventually, but I don't want to do that right now. I know that, um, actually the steer is probably one of my least equipped, um, gears, but I'm okay with that for now. Now, if you remember, they told us we need to go to Nissan because it was under attack. Margie apparently doesn't seem to care very much because she didn't bring it up at all. So let's head to the dock here, or to the, to the bridge. Wait, hold on. We, we, we need to go see some stuff in the gears. So I'll meet you down in the gear hangar. Uh, hold on for one second. Okay, let's look at the Red Mazuo, which we haven't seen in here, I don't think. What do you want to do? View gear from the front. Good side. Other, other side is just basically a cape, which is not fun for anybody to look at. Alright, now let's hear some specs. This is Billy's gear. Awesome. No idea what that means. Although on the outside, it looks like an Ethos type gear. Inside is entirely Solaris type. Since it's for Etone use, that stone character most likely brought it here directly after its creation in Solaris. But because of that, its capability is really impressive. Especially those anti Wells revolver cannons equipped in both arms, they are very destructive. Average gear would be junk after taking one hit. Awesome. Now I think we never actually got a chance to show off. Wait, seriously? 
Come on. Let's get off the screen now. It's like way off the screen. They still wouldn't acknowledge that I had left. I don't think we've actually seen the Vierge down here. I think it's really been that long since uh, she was in our party. Uh, let's view it from... Oh, my bad. We get to see the back with the giant ponytail. Now let's actually view it from the front like I actually wanted to do in the first place. Awesome. I wonder what that green thing in the middle is. What do I want to do? Let's hear what he's got to say. This is Vierge. It's the gear for that girl from Solaris. Apparently he never bothered to learn her name. It's lighter than the red nozzle, that's for sure. The frame, along with the armor, has been minimized for reduced weight. But within all that lies the impressive technology of Solaris. It's a lot more resistant to damage than life's appearance suggests. Rather than physical damage, it is more specialized for ether attacks. This is especially so with the tail stabilizers and equipped side skirts, which are used for the explosively damaging ether guidance weapons, air rods. It basically affects that young lady's ether power directly. Awesome. Now, I think... I don't think, actually. I don't think there's... Saibsan is not here. I swore Saibsan showed up here. And that's, that's really why I came down here. Maybe he's over in this, uh, this hangar way over here. Because he's so big, he can't fit in these little compartments that everybody else does. Is this... No. Okay, apparently not. Uh, so I will meet you back on the bridge and we'll head out.